So let's talk about the hard stuff. Uh, what's the protocol? What do you do when shit just goes real bad? <laughs> and you know, I talk in many videos about ups and downs and how, you know, especially me being bipolar, I'm very familiar with, you know, things being up and down. But then there's the crash. There's when things are not up or down, they just bam, like to the floor. Obviously when things are surging up there's also a protocol for that because it's easy to fuck it up but in this video we're going to focus on the crash so when life crashes for you and it could be as simple as getting a message from your girlfriend telling you that she's breaking up with you it could be uh, the stock you invested in suddenly going against you at a fast rate it could be a debt you weren't aware of uh, it could be something about your house uh, that, you know, it could be uh, some somebody's trying to fuck with you, some legal matter. Uh, it could be anything. So next time you have this sort of crash in life, suddenly like, bam, everything falls. You're all confused. Uh, you go back to the habits I taught you, you know, the daily habits, the anchor. And you're like, fuck that. I don't even want to do it anymore. I don't care. Uh, what happened was you went down the tone scale. You went down on the emotional scale level all the way to apathy. It's one step before death, basically. Apathy is as close as you're going to get to death um, in this life. And what you need to do is you need to start getting moving because if you just stay in this apathy, you're going to sink deeper and deeper and you might not be able to get out of it. So you need to ask yourself a simple, simple question. You need to ask yourself, first thing, is there something I can do about this situation to resolve it? Is there anything I can do? And usually there isn't, because if there was, then you wouldn't feel this massive sense of confusion. Uh, you maybe, you would feel challenged, you would feel angry maybe, but if you went all the way down to apathy, then it's something that's usually beyond your control or beyond something you believe you can handle. So what you need to do is take care of yourself, take care of the body, take care of who you are. If this is something that somebody else can take care of for you, for example, if it's debt, then you need to take it out. You need to outsource it, you know, give it to somebody. Even if they charge $500 a month, it doesn't matter um, because they are taking care of it. So because you're not in apathy or confusion anymore, you can focus on, on creating. And actually, creation is the only thing that will usually get you out of it. You know, when you're in a relationship trouble, meeting new girls or learning more about you is the only way to get out of that. When you're in financial trouble, getting more money is the only way to get out of that, not saving money. Because, uh, you know, you can't save something that you don't have. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, just... If you can outsource it, do that. But if you can't, then it's it's kind of it's gonna sound weird, but it's, you want to go for business as usual. So you want to go for just maintaining the actions that created uh, what you have so far, because sometimes it is outside the, your control. So just maintain the habits, stay consistent. You know, keep taking the actions. Uh, because the alternative is just you know being in apathy so if I have to choose between being in apathy or at least continue with my habits even though I don't want to do it even though it's gonna suck I'd rather continue and then what happens is when the situation gets resolved which it will unless you're dead but if you're alive it will get resolved eventually you'll surge up because you've built up so much positive momentum uh, I talk about it, you know, let's say you go into deep, deep depression, you can still work out and make money while you're depressed. So when you get out of the depression, uh, you're no longer depressed and you now have a lot of money and a better body. So you basically get uh, both advantages of the situation um, instead of just uh, having to make up for lost time. For example, you get into depression, you let go of your body, you let go of your finances. And now that you're out of the depression, you have to also rebuild everything you had. So uh, you can still keep, I call it pulling up. You can still pull up and get more and more um, momentum towards the up cycle. And then even if you don't immediately go on the up cycle, once the situation resolves, you will surge up. So 
again relating to how to deal with that situation life crashing first question can I deal with it is it possible yes or no can I outsource it somebody else do it for me if if so immediately immediately outsource it because you're not supposed to deal with it it's going to destroy your ability to create and to take action don't deal with anything that creates confusion because uh, again uh, if you don't have the ability to create to produce you won't be able to get out of it <laughs> so that's the catch and finally uh, business as usual keep doing the habits keep taking the actions don't don't fall into the temptation of um, falling into apathy and not doing anything uh, because it's stupid it's just there's no logic behind it so you have to really be rational uh, it doesn't mean you have to enjoy it you don't have to enjoy working out you don't have to enjoy meditating you probably won't <laughs> you don't have to enjoy you know working on your business but or reading but that is the most critical time to do that because um, if you don't if you lose that momentum now you're not gonna get it back and when you finally get out of it you're gonna have to rebuild uh, which is lost time and lost compound effect so the compound effect is the most important thing because if you just keep compounding uh, either way you're not gonna have that trouble next year because uh, if you compound finances over a year uh, keep increasing your income the next year that sort of a magnitude of, of problem wouldn't even matter financially. So these, this is the protocol. Again, um, t you know, take it out basically, uh, outsource it. Uh, can you deal with it? Can you not deal with it? If you can't do something about it, do it. Again, if it's a straight up solution, if you can't outsource it. Um, and either way, business as usual, don't stop doing things that are promoting growth because you'll need them later. Sweet. Let me know if you have any questions, any problems. I'd love to, to help you. And, uh, you know, if you're watching this in a hard time right now, then you know, stick in there. Uh, let me know. Email me. I've been through some tough, tough shit in my life. And I can definitely help you get out of it. Bye-bye.